Hi everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another video for assignmentsystamp.com. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the creation of three cards, mainly using the stamp set from the card kit for May 2022. Now this stamp set is called Brush Flowers and there are tons of solid floral images in it. So it's perfect for breaking out all those different colors of ink that you might have in your stash and to just get stamping. In fact, in the card kit, there are four mini ink cubes of saturated ink from Simon, but I've decided to use my big ink pads today because I wanted to try a little bit of a different color scheme. So I've broken out all of my acrylic blocks, practically every block in my stash, and I've been crafting for many, many years. So I've got blocks from Gina K, from Simon, from Studio Katya. I've got a bunch of blocks from different companies. So in the supplies below, I'll link to a few different acrylic blocks if you need to pick some up, but you really can just use anything that's in your stash. For this first card, it's going to be five by seven and I'm stamping directly onto the card base that's folded already. And I'm using Simasa Stamp Fog Ink. This is a very pale gray ink and it's just perfect to make a very subtle background. My plan is to have a more colorful panel that goes on top of this white card base, but the sides of the card, the left and right, will be left exposed. So I'm stamping these flowers just on the two sides because I want those to kind of peek out from underneath this cardstock. So I'm adding a bunch of these flowers and leaves and I'm kind of testing it with my pink cardstock. That's the cardstock I'll be stamping on here in a minute, just to make sure that I have enough of these leaves peeking out from underneath. So I'm gonna add one more little leaf up here and here we go. So now I'm going to start working on the pink panel that's going to go on top. And for this one, I'm going to be using all of these very colorful inks you see at the top of the screen. I'm gonna start with the color Carnation and I'm going to stamp uh, three flowers kind of in different sections. Now I did do a practice stamping of this card and I kind of figured out where I wanted the placement of the flowers during that practice run. And I have that kind of off screen here. So I'm referencing that. But basically the idea is you want each color to be sort of spread out across the entire area. You don't want the color, to, you know, two florals to be the same color right next to each other or overlapping. So now I'm moving on to this blue color. It's such a pretty blue color. And I'm gonna be stamping that in a few different areas as well, changing up the different flower stamps that I'm using. As I'm stamping all of these flowers, you'll notice that they start to create a pattern, almost like a line or S shape going up the center of this pink cardstock. By the way, this is cotton candy cardstock from Simon, and I've just cut it down to about three inches wide by seven inches tall. So I've used the colors Carnation and Sherbet and that blue shade, I just love that blue shade. And now I'm coming in with Cherry, kind of for a more intense dark red. And then after I've stamped all of the red kind of images, I'm gonna start filling in the areas with two colors of green. I've got a lighter green and a darker green. So if you wanted to do a similar color palette, do two colors of uh, one shade. I've got the pink and the red, like a dark red, light pink. Two colors of green, and then have two accent colors. I think that's a great kind of uh, recipe for putting together a fun color palette. So I'm coming in with Perfection, stamping these larger leaf shapes and kind of filling in those gaps. I wanna have some of the stems going directly into the flowers like you've got here. And then I just have other little leaves kind of moving around. The darker green, which is called pine, I'm gonna stamp up here at the top, going off the top edge, filling in that gap in that corner. And I don't want too much of this dark shade. It looks very, very dark compared to the other ones. I'm just kind of filling in the areas because I want there to be a variety of color in each area. I'm gonna imagine this stem meeting up with that orange flower and then I'll fill in some other little gaps. Now you'll see that there are two stamps mounted on this large block. I just mounted the stamps on both sides of the block and that gives me a little bit of 
room to kind of move things around. So I have this palace uh, panel all finished. I'm going to stamp a greeting for the card now. I have some black cardstock in my Misty, and I'm using an anti-static powder tool. This is a cottontail powder tool from Rabbit Hole Designs, and I'm stamping the Sending Hugs greeting from the stamp set. I'm using Versamark ink. It's a very sticky ink, and it's perfect for heat embossing. So I'm just inking that up on my stamp, and then I'll press that down onto my cardstock. I'm going to coat the stamped area with some white embossing powder. This is alabaster embossing powder from Brutus Monroe. And then I'll hit that with my heat tool until all of the powder is melted. Now I wanted to have this in a circle, so I'm using Simon's nested circle dies. The size is just perfect. And, I'll, and I ran that through my die cutting machine and then I have a circular sentiment for my card. So I'm gonna put the card together. I've got some foam strips on the back. This is um, some 3D foam from ThermoWeb. This is the 1 16th inch depth on the foam. And I'm gonna place this right over my white card base with that stamping on it. And then I'll take my greeting circle and I'm gonna put that uh, kind of near the bottom, hanging off the edge on the right. And that finishes my very first card for today. Lots of fun stamping. I'm gonna use those same ink colors and I'm gonna stamp a second card. Lots and lots of colors on this one as well. I'm going to be stamping directly onto the front of an A2 card. So I'm gonna protect the back of the card just with some post-it tape, wrap that around, and I've just adhered it directly left of the fold. So now I'm gonna start stamping and I'm starting with those same colors. I'm gonna just kind of build out from the bottom corner trying to get a nice grouping of these stamps. In between each stamping, I am cleaning off my stamps really well with a stamp chamois. My stamp chamois of choice is from Lawn Fawn and it lasts forever and ever. Um, whenever my stamp chamois seems to have quite a bit of ink on it and it um, starts to kind of transfer to my hands when I use it, um, I'll just take it to a sink with running water and I'll use kind of a warm temperature of water and I clean my stamp chamois with a little bit of dish soap and that seems to clean out a bunch of the ink and it gets it back to a point where it's easier to work with. So for this part right here I have that little spot on my stamp that it didn't transfer so I grabbed a, a little circular stamp that's supposed to be the center for flower and I stamped that in red and just filled in that little spot. So now I'm coming in and stamping some more leaves, filling out those areas. And I'm gonna grab a little bit of this blue and stamp that in a few different spots. Just trying to get the color kind of dispersed over the entire card design. And I'm also having the flower sort of hug the bottom left corner of the card. It almost looks like a bouquet of flowers. I think it's really, really pretty like this. So I'm adding more of this dark green just to finish off this area. And we're pretty much done at this point. So I'm going to remove the post-it tape that is protecting the back of the card. And then you'll be able to see the very clean line of stamping right to the edge of the card. And you can reuse that post-it tape a few different times, uh, especially when it's a large strip like this, you can use it on multiple projects. All right, so now I need a greeting for this card. So I'm going to stamp the really, really solid one um, that says just a note to say hello. I'm using some VersaFine Onyx Black ink and I'm stamping this directly onto some Nina Classic Crest 110 pound cardstock. That is also the, the type of cardstock I used on my cards. I'm using some scissors and fussy cutting out this shape. And don't worry about having it be absolutely perfect right up against that line because I have a tip for you, a little hack, that will make it look like you've cut this out absolutely perfectly. So first you're going to cut it out the best that you can, kind of going slowly, and then you're going to take a black brush tip marker and you're going to paint the edges. So if there were any spots where there was a little bit of the white showing through, no problem at all, this marker will cover it right up. And it also sort of makes it look like it was black cardstock with a white ink on top, which is kind of a neat effect. So I'm gonna put some foam tape on the back 
of this greeting. And then all I have to do is pop it directly onto the front of the card. So I use some more of that foam tape and we'll place it right here. Have a little bit of that blue flower peeking out on each side. And that finishes my second card for today. Really colorful stamping on both of these first two cards. For my third card today, it's going to be a little bit more simple. I'm going to keep the flower stamping to a minimum, and I'm also going to be stamping on a light colored cardstock. This is Fog cardstock from Simon. And I want to have a very simple grouping of flowers for this card. So I'm going to be stamping each one of these with just very small overlaps, but there is kind of a fun part to this card, which I think is really neat. And that is that the main largest flower will be layered. So I'm using a pink shade, that carnation color right there for that flower. And then I'm going to grab the smaller flower and I'm going to stamp that in cherry right over the top. So you have sort of a, a double layered look for the greeting. I've, I've taken two stamps from the stamp set position them on my Misty stamp positioning tool, and I'm stamping those in Versifying Onyx Black ink. It's a great black ink for getting very precise lines on text and gratings and things like that. All right, so this card is almost done. I'm now going to take that fog cardstock and I'm going to adhere it to my card base. So I'm using some uh, tape runner or dot runner adhesive from Simon, and I'll put that directly onto my white card base. And then I'm taking a ruler and I'm just going to add a white dashed line as a border around this entire card design. You could definitely leave this step off. I just thought it gives it a little bit more of a finished look, kind of contains all of that design in the area. So here are the three cards I've made using the stamp set from the May 2022 card kit. I hope you've enjoyed. Everything that I've used to create all three of these cards is listed down below in the video description in the supply list. You can click right over to Simon and pick up any of these supplies, including the card kit that has this uh, stamp set in it, plus lots and lots of other supplies. Thanks so much for watching today. I will see you guys in another video very soon.